Egyptian leader, Hosni Mubarak, has stepped down. But what does the future hold for the Egyptian people? And it's Black History Month, which Chattanooga State celebrated with Gospel Explosion. I'm Susie. And I'm Brad, and it is great to finally anchor with you. Isn't it? Here we go. <laughs> Many North African and Middle Eastern countries and states of turmoil following regime changes in Tunisia and in Egypt. But what does the future hold for the citizens of these countries? We spoke with Dr. Christopher Mobley, Chattanooga State Professor of Social and Behavioral Sciences, about the political uprising. They pretty much have to stay out and react to what's going to go on. There's nothing the U.S. could do to intervene, pretty much. There's not, it, there's just not much. Because at bare minimum, the Egyptian government would say that that's our responsibility to handle it. And they would not want another nation intervening anyway. That's not what they would want to have happen, and they probably wouldn't let that happen. So the U.S. pretty much has to take a step back and defer to and react to what, what and how the Egyptian government and people, how this turns out. We don't know yet. Like I said, that goes back to the we don't know because depending upon, let's say, if it's an army person coming, you know, who might take over, if there's someone like the Muslim Brotherhood, et cetera, can they deliver to, for the citizens of Egypt? How would they, how would they do that? You know, what sorts of governmental mechanisms? How would those wheels of justice, delivery of food, fuel, everything else? We don't know yet. And so, good question. I don't think anybody has any answers yet. We here at Chat State hope for peace and freedom for those people. On Wednesday, the second annual Gospel Explosion took the stage on the Humanities Theater. The show featured the Chattanooga State Singing Tigers and a journey through African American musical culture. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Singing Tigers. Speaking of performers, this year the NBA dunk contest was all about showmanship. After years of lackluster dunk events, the NBA focused on creativity this year. Dunking on two rims, rescuing a child stuffed animal, and even hanging from the elbow. But Blake Griffin stole the show when dunking over a car while a choir sang, I believe I can fly in the background. Now that was art. You know, we have a lot of art around this campus too. Where did it all come from? How do we get it here? Katherine Harris has more on that story. The outdoor sculpture at Chattanooga State have become a staple in the school's image, but how did they get there and whose art is being displayed? I sat down with Joe Helseth, curator of the Outdoor Museum of Art, to find out more about the sculptures. 20 years ago, we started it uh, as part of a sculpture tour through the entire state of Tennessee originating out of Knoxville. Since that time, all the other schools, including Knoxville, have uh, abandoned the program and we're uh, the only one who are keeping it going. And the idea was to involve students in seeing and thinking and uh, making evaluations about how they liked or disliked uh, works of art and just to use art as a, a, a tool to make people think. So how is the art exactly chosen? When we started the project, it was, it was begun with, with uh, John Henry, who is an internationally known sculptor. He uh, knows virtually every sculptor in the United States. And uh, so when we started it, the idea was that John would be able to get us work from, from various artists. And that has become the way it the way we operate, and it's, it's, it's what really has happened. Uh, 
because he knows so many people and has so many resources, uh, we are able to get, like right now we have Mark DeSouvero, who is the premier American sculptor in the world. And I also sat down with Olivia Reniger, a art student from Chattanooga State. Do you feel like the sculptures are overall beneficial to our campus? I really do. I feel like it gives our campus um, something different than campuses that are around here or even other campuses I visited. Um, the arts, local art, uh, John Henry's done some of the work and it's really nice to see art, the same art that's around our city being brought to our campus. So the next time you're walking to class, take a moment to reflect on all of the marvelous pieces at Chat State. For At Chat State, I'm Katherine Harris. So that's where all that art comes from. What do you think about all this art, Brad? The more art, the better. That's it for us today at Chat State. Be sure and check out our show every Thursday on YouTube, Facebook, and Comcast 3. See you in class. Bye-bye.